<laughs> ironically there was no thought at all actually because uh, mostly what we do is whenever we create a series we tend to have a title for it and which makes it uh, all the more framed choreographed so if i'm painting fishes and if i have a series called aqua then i can paint only fishes nothing else uh, so i've i've done a lot of series but i had a title and i i really stuck to adhere to the title and i never went moved away from it so the idea of anamang kids was actually to create a series which actually doesn't have a, a sort of a guiding title or anything so i could create anything in the series you know? so hence anamang kids of devnagari origin actually which means the untitled and uh, so so the different paintings uh, which which have which have inspiration from different uh, uh, parts and fields like this mythology in it the films in it there's also aqua as, as water in it because all my paintings will have water uh, so yeah it's it's like that how long did this whole thing take to come about exactly? see i i never planned that uh, Oh, I, I, okay, I'm going to make a series called Anamankin, and let me give myself say what two years or something or a year. Uh, I would paint, and I thought that as I'm creating series, like there was Aqua, there was something called Jeep, which was a series uh, based on the origin of language. How we started talking and conversing in various languages, how language became a medium of conversation. Uh, so all those were series, very definite series. Uh, but uh, Anamankin. I was doing different paintings here and there, here and there, and then I thought that if I have to exhibit this, I really need to have a name for the exhibition. Uh, so that's how Anamankit came in. There's <laughs> actually a couple of story called Vatshavaram Path, where she receives the letter from the king, where the king is saying that uh, you know you you free to become conscious of your body, but you're still satisfying your sexuality. Okay. But then you're really overconscious about your body and stuff like that. Oh. So she calls a maid and asks her to clean her feet and stuff. And she takes off her clothes and doesn't realize. She's like, how, 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 like conscious am I? And this is like her lean self, which she was, which is sort of disintegrated. Oh. It's there here. And there. So that's that's. Most of the pieces like have a story to tell, and that is what I like most about painting. When every painting has a story to tell. and uh, yeah i mean this is interesting work i i, I have a few favorites yeah, what are your favorites um i i really that that one there and i like this one here. i'm sorry i the auto rickshaw yeah yeah the whole story did you read the story yeah yeah i did read the story so that's what really got you exactly i mean the, the small little intricacies and details he he puts inside to build up a story i think that is extremely and nice and original it come through to you through the painting Yeah, like a lot because uh, like everything. I mean, I'm sure like everything he wants to say, I don't understand it. I'm mm -hmm. sure I have a lot of things which I've understood and he need not say. So I like the little intricacies, like little petals, flowers, eyes, motifs he's put inside to like tell the story. Mm -hmm. I think it's really original and nice. Yeah. That and this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's aqua, right? Aqua life. Yeah, it. yeah, it is called the metamorphosis. metamorphosis. All right, that every living thing. Exactly, exactly. So I, I think the whole white formation is really nice. That's a little bit of a mermaid there. Exactly. You like that? Yeah, yeah. So you like vibrant colors, I guess. Like it's a lot of. Colors. I mean, it just depends on painting. Like I don't have a very, very um. Strict, um yeah, completely. So like, extremely nice. Uh, if you see like uh, the language of colors, that's only colors. In levitation form where the brush doesn't touch the paper. Uh, there's ink work. This canvas, this charcoal, uh, this acrylic, this mixed medium. So it's, it's, it's all there. So I think it's a little more than a year while I was creating all these paintings, and it uh, summed up to create about 30 paintings. And then I realized, uh, like this one, the uh, metamorphosis right at the back. Uh, this is again based on uh, the conglomeration of the scientific logic that every living thing sort of originated from water bodies, and uh, the 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 belief in the myth that mermaids do exist and 
this is a part of the entire series actually. The series is about the paintings, and then was. What I like is, as a painter, he's been quite a good storyteller. Wow! See yeah. this one, yeah. you know, the reflections of an auto rickshaw wala, and you know how he uh, on a sultry summer afternoon, whatever he's done. I think it's very, very creative imagination. There is a, a subliminal thought process which he's developed in pretty well. In fact, I was having this conversation with um, uh, Atul Jodhia in India and we were talking about um, how, you know, I mean, since I'm a creative person as well, I think most paintings should be left untitled yeah. because it's about how, it's about person who's yeah. looking at the yes, painting, yes, their perspective, yes, yes, truth, yes. and their definition of it. Because Absolutely. why would you want to explain your work? Yeah. I mean, you get yeah. it, you do. If you don't get yeah. it, it's your problem. Yeah. Because yeah, like, like someone, if you don't feel like <laughs> right. it. Right. Exactly, right. exactly. Like someone just asked me and uh, yeah. they said that, you know, and explain. Yeah, I, I probably not understood the painting, but I said, no, you probably have understood better than the artist himself. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's about what different, yeah. for example, you see, I find you get so, um, one tends to get so involved with their own work. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it can be difficult to step out and have an objective perspective. Whereas a layman, you know, I mean, he doesn't really need to understand art. But you know, I mean, for example, a young boy can look at something and he will pinpoint a unique aspect yeah. of the work yeah. that other people might not even yeah. see or notice. I love the atmosphere. I think it's very comfortable and it's essentially for people to get together and and not just look at art in a critical perspective, but perspective, but also to enjoy. Maybe an age gap, but you know they're doing work parallel with me. So um, somebody, somebody pushing the boundaries, trying to do something with what they have and utilizing their own internal resources. So for me, this is a, this is how we started. This is how I see them. Not starting, he must have done it. He has done his three, four exhibitions out here yeah. already. Have so, you been for them? Have no, this is the first others? time actually. This is the first time. Yeah, the first time. If you had, you'd know, you'd see that this is very versatile as compared to the other two exhibitions. Like I like the word versatile. It speaks a lot, you can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, and as I have known Shaman, who I'm, I have appreciated what, I, what I've seen of his work, mm -hmm. or the body of his work before, mm -hmm. which is um, the Goldfish series, the Aqua series, Aqua, yeah. and now um, Anam. Anamanke. Anamanke, which is the nameless, basically. Yeah. Um, I think I have booked one. Right? Um, I saw other people looking to a lot of details. Um, I think I'm a pre a, I appreciate a lot of beauty in a lot of things. So for me, the painting when I will be living around it has to have some element of beauty. Um, sadness really distracts me, and um, it, it 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 kind of. The beauty in a painting kind of connects with me that way. So, and it may not be beauty also. So, but one of them which I see, the, is, that speaks to you. yeah, speaks to me is um, uh, the one with the little fishes. Uh, the fishes. Yes. That's uh, the hydral cocoon. Yes, hydral cocoon. So that has caught my eye.
Nice. Lovely, 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 lovely. You're the people who are the lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely.